Hello, and welcome to this video by Bison and Bird on the Project Operations module in Dynamics 365. In this video, what we're going to talk about is more about the quoting option in the Project Operations. And you may have seen the last video in which we sort of touched upon the quoting features there, but we didn't go very in-depth into what it actually means. And so what we're going to do is go more in-depth in this video to show you some of the different features that the quote function has in here. And so as you can see on the page, we are in the quote for Bean Fix Franchisee, and we are in the quote lines tab. And so as you can see here, there are three different quote lines that we have already produced to make sure that there is the proper cost associated with the quote that we're going to be creating. And so there's three kinds that uh, we can talk about. We have the first, which is the time and material contract, and then we have two other fixed price uh, project based lines that we can talk about here. And so as we can see with each of those lines, we can include tasks or decide if we're going to include tasks. We're going to talk about if we're going to include time, if we're going to include expenses, if we're going to include materials, and if we're going to include the fee as the last portion of it, which all will round up into a nice way of showing the customer budget and the expected amount that we're going to quote for each of these line items here. And so what this is going to do is it's going to help us properly track each section of the project based on what different fees, products, and services are associated with each of these quote lines. For example, the store refurbishment is going to be time and material. In this case, it's going to be a construction setup, so it's going to include all of the labor associated with it. So of course, we'd want to include the tasks. We are going to include time. We are going to include expenses for anything that goes on in the construction. Obviously, we're going to use in material here. And then that's all going to round up into a nice budget here for the customer and for the expected amount that we expect to pro provide those services and materials. The other two are fixed price, and so they do not need to include time, expenses, materials, but they might include a fee. And so that all, again, comes into these last two pages or lines here, where we're going to show the expected amount versus what the customer is actually able to spend on it. So once we have this together, what if we wanted to have a specific pricing setup associated with these quote lines? Well, we can do that with the project price lists. And this is a way of changing the prices of different line items that we have on items in the project itself. So as you can see here, we have the US bill rates, and we're going to open that. And we can see here when we go to something like the roll prices, it's going to have the specific amounts for each of the roles that we would have as part of this contract. So say we had an electrician, that's going to be $190 per, per hour. And with the price list, what we can do is we can change these depending on who we're working with or where we're working with them. It can be customized to any sort of situation that you would want to, to change what these pricing structures look like depending on the situation. So for example, this is the US dollar. If we wanted to change this to Canadian, then it could be $250 per hour for an electrician. And we would be able to put that directly on the quote without having to go in and manually change each of these different role items. And we can do that for all of the different sort of items that are going to be part of the quote here. So let's say we wanted um, the priceless items. Um, so we have some different roles here. We have some category prices, so like a car rental, um, we could add the price list for that or change the pricing of that. And it can capture all of this information directly in here with the price list. So if we go back to quotes, we have now gone through the quote lines and the project list lines. So the next thing to do is go to the comparison to customer expectations. And what we can do here is take a look at a high level of what those line items actually meant. So as you can see here, we have the first quote line, the employee training, where we have 150,000 as quoted compared to the customer budget of 150,000. And all it's doing is showing you what is that comparative value of what you have quoted compared to what the budgets are for the customer that you're actually working with. Are you on track? Do you need to adjust expectations? In what time frame is this? What is the total customer budget? What's the quoted value? 
we can look at all of these different things and it's going to give us a high level view of what it actually looks like and what we have quoted on the project so far. And that leads us to our last part where we're going to the quote analysis, where we can see that what we have here is it is a profitable contract. So we have a gross margin, we have adjusted gross margin, and it's going to roll up all of the information that you've put in through each of these tabs into these nice little bubbles to be able to see just from the get-go, is it a profitable contract or not? So then we also have the within customer expectations. So we're estimated to finish early and within budget, which is a great way to easily see after you've quoted all of this, how you're going to do on this project and if you should proceed. So with that being said, we have now talked more about the quoting process in project operations. Thank you for listening and we'll see you in the next video.